Jim. What's the trouble, Sheriff? You know, we're not in the habit of receiving this sort of a stampede into the peace and quiet of Santa Maria. No, and you ain't in the habit of receiving an outlaw, are you? An outlaw? That calls for an explanation. Aquí está el patrón. What is it, señor Salvador? An outlaw in Santa Maria. Asking your pardon, Don Pablo and Miss Tomolita. Uh, for this intrusion, but we just heard of an outlaw this way. We have reason to believe he's a member of the Diablo Negros gang. No, me diga. Is it possible? With all respect to you, Sheriff, any bandit knows that it's safer to face the law than it is us here in Santa Maria. 
Well, I ain't arguing that, McKim. I just know there's only one road leading into Santa Maria, and that's the same road out. So I'm sorry we're searching the place. Si, si, it's a muy bien. Pardon me. How do we care help us, senor? Si, senor. But I'm thinking by now, this bandit is riding clear. What do you mean, McKim? That yonder back of the meat house, there's a hidden trail that drops into the ravine and leads to the open. You're kind of late with your information, ain't you, McKim? It was yours for the asking, Talbot. You haven't given me a chance. Well, I guess I'm taking that trail pronto. Go ahead. Oblige the chair. Gracias, Don Pablo. Hasta la vista. Buenas noches, amigo. Adios. Adios. <laughs> I'm sorry, Don Pablo, for this disturbance. And I'm more than sorry, Miss Carmelita, that your supper was so interrupted by the manhunters. Gracias, but this supper is finished. But not the coffee, Carmelita. Oh, vamos, papa. But Carmelita is cold. I have no soul. Si, Carito, si está pendiendo al domés. Pardon me, but I have some work that I must attend to. May I join you later? We'll be waiting for you. Gracias, Don Pablo. Si, ¿por qué haces cosas parecidas? Mira, si no Qué buen café, ¿verdad? Sí, está muy bueno. ¿Te gusta, no? Uh -huh, bueno. Aquí está su chao, señorita. No, gracias. But just now we don't make you say you're cold. Sí, pero just now with you, papá, I am warm. <laughs> Don't you think you are uh, a little unkind to the man? You must understand that we owe him very much, Colonel. Hi, Father Leo. Don Mac. I hear nothing but Don Mac. From the time the sun come up until she go down, it is done mad. You forget me, that in my hands we were about to lose our Santa Maria. The buildings, they are crumbled. The cattle, they were all gone. We are nothing but that. Then come the mess. The buildings, they are repaired. The cattle, they are back in the rain. In the death, they have been paid. Is it not true, Carmelita? Sí, Padre mío. It is true. You know, he has meant much to our happiness. And our happiness would be complete if you too were kind to him. Are you in time, Padre mío? It is me. I don't know who you are or where you came from, but I do know this is mighty fine coffee. I'm also thinking it was mighty slick the way you shed your saddle and ended the trail right under the sheriff's nose. If this is a trap, stranger, you lose. If you'll do a little figuring, you'll put up them shooting irons and come have some of this coffee 
It's much more sociable, like. Curious to me, you must have got an eyeful. Yep. There ain't nothing happens on this branch I don't see. I ain't in the habit of receiving this sort of reception, stranger. What's the game? You're just a yearling. I understand. Pretty good coffee. What's the name you use? Smith. Jim Smith. Easy name to remember. Thanks. Guess I'll be back. Wait a minute. Can you sort of take an unnecessary chance? Unnecessary chance? That reminds me of the night I doubled back on a party. Joined up with him and then helped hunt myself for three hours. And filed a charter back off the sheriff. <laughs> That's quite clever, kid. How would you like to double back and be a real good cow hand for a change? Of course, you'd have to stay undercover for a bit. And I'd get you a new outfit. Then I'll bring you in on the buckboard. The Don will think you come here proper like. Well, what do you say? They've been dogging me for quite a spell, partner. So I reckon I'm your new cow. Along great, in walks her husband. And I'm a loco sheriff, he ain't the sheriff. <laughs> oh, boy, how'd you get out of that one? Well, I haven't met a man yet who can beat me to the draw. So I reckon you'll feel downright sorry for that deputy. Yeah. Yeah, I sure do. Whoa! The great Diablo, eh? Five thousand dollars reward. They don't say much about him or what he looks like, do they? Nope, they don't. But they do say plenty about that Oklahoma cyclone. Cyclone meaning coming in sudden like, bringing a lot of wind. Light brown hair, blue eyes, stocky built, age 24. Light brown hair, blue eyes, stocky built. Sort of tallies with you, Smith. What's your real name? Let up, period. There's few men enjoy this privilege. Well, I'm feeling like a blushing female. Me doing all the shouting and riding with the king of the outlaws. I'm sure completing my education proper. You being the boss of Santa Maria, enjoying the cover of paradise, and fooling the sheriff, too. Pretty foxy, I call it. Speaking of paradise, the most important part of the rancho is the Don Boat, Armolita. And I want you to understand that Carmelita is my particular business. Let's get going. Here they are. I'll go on the evening of the night And when the world goes with these miles I'm happy as can be Dear time of us of me When parents are so me, I'm never to me I keep on thinking of it ain't none of my business. 
But it sort of appears to me the boss is making a mistake. Hi, not sing and roll no here with us. Yeah, and for three long days, you've had to listen to the banks he's stuck up, the sheriffs he's punctured, and the handsome women he's rustled. Oh, don't let his blowing get you down, all right? He's just a young one. And I kind of like him. You like him? Yeah. Well, I hate him. And ain't nothing I like better than hate. I never knowed I could hate a rattler as bad as I hate that swagger and loud-talking four-flusher. That's my sentiments, too, Rawhide. How about a little turn, Slim? I'll spend the hour. But, Melissa, you're very quiet this evening. It is because I wish to listen to the singing in the That going to be great. Oh, I didn't hear it before. I'm glad the music makes you so happy, family. This is three nights I have listened to him. Please, Don Ma, who is this new man? Oh, he's just for the men I got here for the roundup. I think he sings more beautiful, but the simple. Little have him come and entertain you. Yeah. Muy bien, you know. Emilio, hey, Matt, where is this cow man? Why, he's down at the bunk with the other men. Patron, ve y dilo a este cantante que venga. Muy bien. I'll stay away from the How'd you like it, boys? That was pretty good, son. I've heard words, but I've got a mighty poor memory. Senor, Don Pablo, he wished that you come and sing for the Senorita Carmelita. Thanks, Don, and add that I'll be there at Toronto. Si, senor. You see, boys, no matter how much I try to be otherwise, I'm just irresistible. I'll see you sheep herders later. What is that word he said, Slim? Uh, you're a... You're a... You're a... You're a... You're a... Visible. Well, whatever it is, you do it just once too often. The boss will fill him full of holes. There won't be no wind left. <laughs> and Yes, me. This is my daughter, Carmelita. I'm glad to make your acquaintance. I am pleased to meet you, Senor Smith. You speak Spanish, no? Si, Senorita. I lived in Mexico for a week. 
And I met a bunch of senoritas down there who taught me plenty Spanish. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Of one of your cowhand songs, Air Smith? No. That reminds me of a song one of them taught me. Will you please sing it for me, senor? Say, sí, senorita. But the last time I sang this song, I was such a big success that I couldn't reach the border fast enough. <laughs> And when I got to the border... Smith, we're waiting for that song. The song of the rain With the lovers of one I left behind me With love that won't change She will wait till back in her arms she'll find the moon the and the moonlight is right above. Only for the Deja que termine, señor. Siento, pero es una cosa muy importante. Some This is not the way I have figured. There must still be fixed somewhere. Don't see how there can be. However, let's talk it over later. But this man, he's waiting, and I think we'd better go inside and talk with him. Very well, if you think so. You will excuse me. We'll be no, back to huh? Will you please sit down and finish your song, Senor Smith? With pleasure. Mm -hmm. The song. Of Mexico when you think so beautiful. I think they keep you there with the senoritas. But then I wouldn't have met you, Miss Carmelita. <laughs> oh, you don't tell me this. I think I know the vaquero. He rides to the window, and with his guitar, he sings. He makes you laugh. <laughs> then he says, Adios. Mañana, and make you cry. No? Yes, Mr. Smith. <laughs> Maybe you're right. You know, I don't stay in one place very long. The Nazis say you come to Santa Maria just for the wonder. That's right, Miss Carmelita. Then I guess it will be Adio Mañana. That reminds me. Now I teach a song, Mr. Smith. Uh, Jimmy is my first name. Yes, Mr. Smith. Maybe you see me too. No, Jimmy. <laughs>
A sound Carmelita's handkerchief and Smith's shirt pocket. He's been meeting her down by the stream. I know, because I've seen him there. They probably had a lot of other music that I ain't seen. It's time for a showdown, boss. We ain't hiding no hidden aces around here. Ain't according to our code. What do you mean? Remember when you wanted to get rid of that Wilson fella? Remember how I picked a fight with him on the ranch? And we left him for the coyotes? Well, we're working the range tomorrow. That's what I'm meaning. Tomorrow. Here comes Smith now. I never see such an ornery critter as that local cow in your ball and calf. Like to never found him. You know, life is just one ornery cow or woman after another. There's no peace for a poor cow hand no more, Slim. Yeah, I know something ornerier than that. And I don't have to mention no name. What Rawhide means, Slim, is that Henri Cow's husband. You mean the bull, don't you, Sonny? from Oklahoma, stop making that whining noise. Hear what I said? Stop blowing that music box or I'll blow you out from under your hat. You know, fellas, Smith and Brower don't seem to fit him no more since he's Carmelita's special lover. But she ain't the particular. Carmelita's skirt. Seeing you're paralyzed, Rawhide, I'm tossing this harp in the air. And when it hits the ground, we're shooting from the leather. If I wasn't feeling so sentimental-like, I'd be seeing daylight through you now. You've been doing a lot of talking since I joined this outfit, and you think you're plenty salty. Well, I'm gonna break you and brand you. Come on. Get time, Rawhide! Get time! Come on, jump on him, Rawhide! Boss, I'm thinking this is a frame-up, and that you had something to do with it, or else you wouldn't have let that skunk insult the name of Carmelita. The kid, McKim, and Carmelita's plenty good looking. But if it'll end this argument, I don't see her from now on. <clears throat> kid, I'm gonna take your word for it. That reminds me of a little song that's right fit. And seeing you hombres don't like my singing, I'll see you later. Oh, it's out in Arizona where the bad men are. Well, there's nothing 
Mary guys the guys the evening star well the Well, I'm a son of a sheep herder if I ain't believing that boy's fairy tales from now on. That's right, pretty picture you made slide down that hill, Rawhide. <laughs> <laughs> something he wished to tell you. Yes, Carmelita. I have waited all evening to tell you. I know. I remember. I have promised a dance to you. Maybe two. Three. Come, don't matter. That was wonderful, Carmelita. Perdona, señor. Señorita, tengo que hablarle. Pardon me, Don Ma. I must go. You won't be long? No, no. Not very long. Seem to be enjoying yourself, Cody. Oh, that Jones one that weighs 400. It should weigh the pound. You don't know how to picture dancing, Barney. Is that so? <laughs> Say. Where's Smith? The boss gave him orders not to come. Afraid some of these town folks might recognize him. In that case, Rawhide, you won't have any trouble in joining yourself, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Señorita, el señor Smith me dio esto para usted. Muchas gracias. You got the dark, Slim. You don't mind me 
saying you're in love with Carmelita, do you? Now, don't get hurrying. There's something you was to learn before long, but I'm telling you now. We're taking a run on the state bank tonight. <laughs> well, that's better than sitting under this tree doing nothing. Well, that isn't all. There's something considerable more important. I just heard Rawhide are claiming you again. He tells him he won't ride tonight if you go along. Then they start arguing and Rawhide starts talking about you and Carmelita. I can't get it all, but I get the Rawhide's a sickness so you and her meet tonight and prove what he always knows. If you young ones are eleven. Then the yellow rattler asks, If such happened, would you ride? Well, the boss says, No. You finish your riding right there. So I'm mad. Just be careful, like, son. I ain't forgetting what you've done for me, Slim. And I reckon we're hobbled together from now on. That's ain't nothing. You know, son, I've run into some pretty tough hombres in my day. But there ain't no centipede as poison as that McKim. Take, for instance, that uh, Sheriff Henderson. Now, don't get me wrong, because I ain't over fond of no sheriff. But this Bill Henderson has a reputation of getting on your trail. And there ain't no end to that trail until he jerks a rope around your neck. He dogged uh, McKim for an exasperating spell, and McKim figured to get him and get him proper. So as the next sheriff, and hearing about it, would ponder beforehand about uh, picking up that trail. Well, McKim gets his chance, and he bores him in the back. In the back? Yeah. And we took him across the border to the Los Tres Pesos and leave him there to the rock. You know, son, I like getting the gold easy life and the shooting that belongs to it. But I always regret that unnecessary killing. I'm telling you all this, because after the night, I'm heading south. Ah, uh, what's the matter with you, son? Just fed up. I don't want you to think that I'm a preacher, but you're young, and there's a trail you can take. If you're listening, I'm listening. You know, when you're riding in the breeze and the grass is green, the green is going to turn yellow. It's time you were changing faster. Reminds me of a blonde I met about a month ago. You know, I'm kind of partial to blonde things, but a fellow likes a dark one now and then by way of variety. You know. Well, this time I get too much variety, and the neck takes it plenty hard, and I left town in a hurry. <laughs> I'll bet you do. You play them all, doesn't huh, it? Sure. Why not? Except when they get too serious, like. Take Vincent Carmelita. 
That's why I laid off her. And the aggravating part was the way the boss kept riding me about it. Made me feel like a strayed cat. As if I'd get real serious over a mess. <laughs> that reminds me of one time I was riding with an outfit. And we had a mix trip. I put salt in the pie. And I was playing east from then on. <laughs> That was plenty hard to say. And raising your five, Sam. Well, I'm seeing you. Looking at you for ten more. Hmm. That makes me look. Where's Shorty? And he went down to the barn. he would be back in a minute. Go ahead. Where's Smith? I ain't responsible for that hombre no more. Didn't I leave orders for all you men to come here and stay here? Now pile out of here. Fetch Shorty. Find Smith. We're riding pronto. You get me? Doggone, I never had a full house in my life. But something didn't happen. <laughs> Carmelita. Carmelita. I must tell you. I know. You come to tell Carmelita. Carmelita, the Mexican. I knew you didn't understand when I said. I'm beginning to get the drift. Go get the gang and surround the house. Under it. If he's in there, boss, we got him in a trap. Because I got the boys surrounding the house. I knew you were out here tonight. When I spoke the hardest words I ever had to speak. Read this when I've gone. And I hope it's not adios, manana.
with it. He's a new boy riding with me tonight. And believe me, he showed me a new trick. We got away with a haul without even pulling a gun. Sort of unusual for me, ain't it? I should hope so. Well, you never get too old to learn, do you? Say, by the way, how's my friend the sheriff? Is he able to recognize visitors? Salem put it fast. Good. Hey, boys. 
Let's go upstairs for a minute. You better come along too, kid. I think you'll like it. Anderson, for a little formal introduction. <coughs> Oklahoma, this is Sheriff Henderson, that great manhunter. So you're one of those fellas that hide behind a star, are you? Say, Henderson, I was afraid I wouldn't get to see you again before you croak. Are you still hankering to jerk that rope around my neck? You know, Smith. I sunk some holes in him. It'll end his suffering when he gets weak enough, <coughs> and it'll also go down in history as a little warning to the rest of them manhunters. Yeah. But you had to get him in the back. McKim, you never had guts <coughs> enough to stand up and shoot it out with me, man to man. But remember this, when I pass, there's plenty more good fighting men. <laughs> Take my place when I'm gone. Dry up. You talk too much. Say, tell them about me, will you, Mac? And add that the next star packer has a standing invitation to fight it out with a cyclone. Man to man. And a kid. Say, Henderson. We took your bank tonight and got hauled enough to live in the peace and quietness while the sunflowers are growing over you. Hey, kid, you got that mouth harp in your pocket? Sure, Shorty. Play him that funeral tune. I know Rawhide will like it, even if the sheriff don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, let's have a liquor up. <laughs> Them's my sentiments, Slim. Uh, by the way, Henderson, are you enjoying my hospitality? My boy, my boy. Cut my hand loose, man. me? When I was at school, I learned of your capture by the Black Diablo, so I beat it for home. Accidentally, I found out that Santa Maria was becoming suddenly prosperous, so your deputy and I framed the character of the Oklahoma Cyclone, and McKim fell for my line. I could have got him a dozen times, but I couldn't get to you without playing my hand out. So I waited what years until the night. Oh, son. Son. Do you know what you're up against? 
Do you know the dirty brute that you're dealing with? He's the most merciless rat God ever put breath in. Don't worry about me, Dad. Have you got a fighting chance? Yes. Yes. I believe I have. But you must go, boy. Go? When we go, we're going together, not at all. Buck up, Dad. Buck up. I left word with Carmelita, the Don's daughter. And right now, she is writing for your deputy. Stay <coughs> home. Get him, boy. Slim, take those guns. You're ending your trail for good this time, kid. The only thing that chokes me is just how to make the end of that trail hell itself. Easy for you to figure, you black-hearted devil, but a man is helpless. Henderson, you give me an idea. I'm going to cut this son of yours to pieces with my bare fist. Go ahead, take him out of here. to give you a little special entertainment.
Mustard. You and me's friends, ain't we? Sure, Smith. I just wanted to say it again. You remember what I said about the green grass turning yellow? Well, I'm changing faster. <laughs> <laughs>